I'm very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group chat called Madden Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. If you want to get some good games, some good competition, want to lab with some people who know what they're doing, go check it out. Just send an invite request and you'll get invited. It's a whole lot of fun. Been on there for a couple of days now and it's been a great community. Make sure to check it out and have fun watching this video. Yo guys, what's going on? This is me, Gregor, back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to continue my series of how to stop some of the meta formations in the game. Gonna, today is going to be about Strong Close. If you guys have read the title, you would know that already. And Strong Close really is one of those formations that I really only got good at stopping after running it. You can see I have one of my most popular videos on the channel is about the Strong Close offense. And if you run that, if you want to really get good at defending it because you might face it a lot, you should run it a little bit for let's say four to five games and then you will see the kinds of things that this formation offers and then you'll have a way of defending that now if you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe and check out some of the links in the description is going to be uh, my twitch i just got hosted by godfox yesterday while streaming so that was awesome if you guys want to be there next time on stream which i will stream actually later today I think about two hours after this video goes up, I'll do a grind stream. I'll basically stream four to five hours and just try to finish up Weekend League. But if you're excited for that, let me know in the comments also. Uh, like I said, subscribe, follow the Twitch, and let's get into it. Strong close. Most people run it out of Oakland because Oakland is kind of like the best strong close playbook. I'll just set the audibles that I uh, set really quick. I'll just have to make sure that I have Kamara right here and then we're good to go. So I guess... There are two plays that you kind of have to stop and two plays that are really popular and if you can stop those two will have a lot of success. Now I'll go to the defense right here and the first thing you want to make sure is we have coaching adjustments. Curl flats, they gotta be on 25. Like it just has to happen and we have to be in the big nickel over G. First thing I actually turn on my phone right here so I don't keep looking at it. We want the slot cornerback package which is the right stick to the left once. And now we want specific people in specific spots. First of all, we want to make sure that this guy right here is a cornerback, which he is, so that's fine. Then we want this guy right here to be also a cornerback, and then we want to have two safeties in here. Actually, where's the second safety? Am I stupid? Am I missing him? Right here. Okay. Now I can put Jimmy Ward right here. I want two safeties right here. These are going to be my users, depending on which side of the field. The strong close is on, but anyways, we'll get into that in a second. Now we want to have two linebackers right here on that outside spot. And then we want two pass rushes on the inside. Now the first thing you have to get comfortable with is stopping the run out of this. So I'll come out in cover three sky right here. And I'll come out in uh, half back dive. Actually, what, uh, yeah, half back dive. There you go. So how do you stop the run out of this? The run is not that amazing. Uh, the thing that used to be good out of this uh, halfback off tackle is not as good because it's categorized as a stretch. So all you want to do is you want to pinch your D-line. You want to slant them to the outside. Now if my opponent runs the ball right here, I can shoot in and penetrate. Now obviously right there, the time that I try to show it off, it doesn't work. So I'll try it again. Uh, dives are difficult to shoot because uh, it really is just about making sure to not give up a lot of yards. It's really just, it's tough to get them in the backfield, but you can... Uh, you can do a nice job and try to just limit the yards right there you can see and if I engage with it, uh, with an offensive lineman I click off and I let uh, the computer uh, disengage or try to block shed now that is pretty much all for stopping the run let's now get into how to stop the pass and I'll move back for this a little bit it depends on which hash mark my opponent is on obviously um, a lot of people that run strong close and if you watched my video on strong close you would know this run it with the tight end to the short side because if they're audible to let's say fl drive um if they get the time right here which i will grant them by spying everyone uh this is a cover three beater so just like that the corner is a cover three beater or opens up the post and that is a one play touchdown against cover three you see right here how we can throw that so that is one thing that the good people always want they always want to have the chance of hitting you with that so you'll mostly face it with the a tight end to the short side if you don't face it that way you might just be playing someone who doesn't really know what he's doing like, let me actually call the first play i want to shut down which is going to be pa deep cross that is the play that we have to stop in order to stop this formation because this is a lot of people's uh, uh play they want to go to 
to make sure they can keep you honest and not make you tee off on that run. And it also is also one of the two plays that people regularly want to run on, you know. So coming through sky, there we go. We're gonna do our adjustment to stop the run, which is pinch slant outside. We wanna now put both our outside guys, Kwan Alexander and Fred Warner, in hard flats, which is boom boom. Then we want to man up um, the mid linebacker that is uh, on the side opposite of the tight end. There we go on the wide side to man up on the running back because a lot of people send out the running back on a real route and we want to cover that. Last thing is we want to blitz our user. Once again, if they run inside zone, we will be able to shoot that even if we only have two guys blitzing and a user. So this is the most popular setup out of this. And you will see how I am able to guard everything about this. So there's uh, the crossers are going to be covered at the end of their routes by the curl flats. And before they get there, and you can see how quickly I can set this up. Before they get there, th that's my job. I have to just, boom, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, he can't throw that crosser any earlier uh, than when it's done. Now, obviously, right there, I don't get any pressure, so I'll just put it with my user. But you guys see how I can stop that. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting. Because if your opponent mixes it up, and one of the most, uh, probably the second most popular play, is this one. Boom. This and then they motion the slant across. Now, if I were to do my regular setup, this would not cover it. So now you will see. Oh my god, I didn't motion across. Uh, but let's just imagine that the slants and the post go to different uh, parts of the field. I'll actually redo that because that was kind of bad. But I'm gonna show you that this does not work. Sadly, it would be nice if it did. Also, another thing: if you're scared of getting beats, just put that guy out there in, in a deep half. And now you will see, I'm gonna switch to FL drive. No motion across. And boom. I'm in a predicament because a good player will be able to make a read on that. They will be able to either hit the slant or the post. So if my opponent shows me that he's gonna mix it up, then it, this is where I get a little bit more creative. So I do the same two steps to start off. I pinch and then slant outside, then I Shade underneath, shade over top to get this guy right here in a, in a cloud flat. I will put this guy right here in a uh, curl flat. I will put the uh, linebacker that we have at the D-line right here in a hard flat. I will put this guy right here in a bird hook. And I will still man up the running back. And I will lose, I will lose 20 Now this takes a lot of adjustments. And the thing with it is that oftentimes I don't know which play my opponent is running, so I have to kind of guess. And now you'll see, I will show you how this stops FL drive uh, just really quickly. And then after that, I will show you kind of where this defense line is weak. So I'm going to snap the ball right here. All right. Now you will see my bad. <laughs> this is such a bad user. Let me throw the ball away. Uh, you want to bait from the slant back to the post. I haven't covered strong close in a minute because not a lot of people have been running it on me. Uh, but I'll try it again. So this is how quickly you can set it up. One more time, gonna switch. And I already know that the people in the Madden Competitive Gaming uh, Facebook group are gonna say, oh, it's too many adjustments. Trust me, you can get those off. Just go into practice mode and try it. Now right there, you can see I have that totally bagged. Now, let's run this exact defense. Oops, my bad. Let's run this exact defense against PA Deep Cross. So let's try that. And you will see how there will be some things open. So I have to cover the crosser. I have to know that. If my opponent uh, catches me off guard and he doesn't run FL Drive, then I have to know I, cover, I have to cover the crossing route that comes from, this, from the wide receiver. The tight end crossing route is going to be taken away. But because I have this guy no longer in the curl flat, that is then my responsibility go to go back and guard. So um, this is how you adjust it really quickly. There you go. If you're really scared, and, which I am kind of scared. A lot of people are trying to beat uh, cover threes out of strong close. But yeah, this is the setup. And I want to talk about another thing that I've kind of been caught by a little bit lately. Uh, people, they like to... Um, let's just say do something like this. They like to motion across, and I have uh, I have gotten beat a little bit uh, by this cover three beater. Um, not right there, it didn't. Well, it just didn't work. But 
the way you prevent that, I already showed it on the short side, is just by putting those outside cornerbacks into uh, deep halves. One thing though, and I wanna uh, see if I can get it to work right here, but online this is pretty much guaranteed. If I motion across, you will see how that deep half starts to press. Now, even though this is supposed to, uh, huh? what was that about? Interesting. Oh my God, I was using that guy. Gotcha, gotcha. So I'm gonna spy everyone right here. And if I motion across, even though I'm not, this is supposed to not get beaten, you will see how he presses. And now if I get the time, which I will get because I spied everyone, you will see how I will be uh, too late to guard that. Now, he just ran straight back. But I can't tell you how many times in online Madden I've gotten beat by the, beaten by that exact same thing. So, if you want to invert both cornerbacks, click on to them if you have the time and quickly touch them so they don't follow. And then you can do the same thing you've been doing all the time. This is the first setup and then to reset the play, this is the second setup depending on what your opponent shows you. You have to kind of guess and just invert right there. And that is kind of it. Now a lot of people are getting more uh, more, uh, more sophisticated with it. And now I want to flip the play. And I want to show you something that people have been doing. So what people have been doing is they go to just any play. They put the tight end on a... What do they do actually? No, they flip. Then they put Thomas on a hitch, they put Jones on a hitch, and then they put McCaffrey on a wheel. Uh, and then what happens if I try to do the adjustments uh, that I've been making this entire time, you will see how we get two people open. Both hitches are open and I have to cover the post for a, bit, for a little bit of time. And this is then where things get really interesting because... If my opponent does that, then I have some choices that I can make. If I see my opponent doing that, I just put both of my guys right here in uh, in word hooks. I still man up the running back. And now I just have to know what I have to uh, watch out for. Um, I'm going to audible real quick. Oh no, I can just do it right here. If I run this defense right here, I know that the running back... Uh, the McCaffrey on the wheel is going to be guarded. I know that both hitches are going to be guarded by the vert hook. I know that any crosser is going to be guarded by... Is going to be guarded by... Uh, why can't I remember? It? By my curl flat. And I will be able to kind of freelance with my user. The thing that I know is that I don't have a hard flat on either field. So I have to watch the fullback. Okay, I have to bait that. And then... That is just kind of my job because both hitches are going to be taken care of and I just have to get pressure. I just have to wait and that is it. So there are three coverage shells and the th third one really you only need this against really good players. A lot of people don't go that deep into it and don't really are that good at playing uh, or at running strong close. So just to recap, actually let me um, respot the ball there. Respot that ball. Um, we want a double Mabel. That is one. Boom, and then deep half the guy on the tight end side. That is one thing. Or if you if your opponent chooses to run uh, FL drive, that is another setup. Or if you, I'm not gonna uh, switch the side of the field now. Uh, if your opponent gets a little bit more creative, now I will have to. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, no, this is good. This is good, my bad. I was thinking about, no, this this will be fine. Snap the ball. I have to cover this guy right here. Boom. And we are good to go. So those are the three shells that I go to. Man coverage. I really don't ever man run man coverage because a lot of people know how to beat it. One, la oh, one final thing. I have to show this to you guys. I have to show this to you. All right. I'll come out in uh, strong close again. I'll come out in FL drive. And I will come out on defense in nickel 55 point. I haven't even mentioned what playbook this is in. This is the 46 base playbook. This is what, what I run online right now. So, yeah. Um, you want to press. Uh, uh, shift the line over, uh, over to that side. And then uh, slant outside. It really doesn't matter which side you shift the line to. Now if I 
but now I can use a rush him right there. Okay. Uh, Fred Warren is slow as shit. Um, but you guys saw how this gap opens up. And that is one thing that you can try if you really have not gotten anything to work. Just try to use a rush, see if it works. But that's the video, y'all. Uh, it's actually really long. I didn't intend on it being this long. But later today, I will do a coin making method. You guys should definitely check that out. How you can get free 50 players. Like, that's what I've been doing to make solid coins lately. And be excited for the part two, for the next parts of the trip side end, which are also out of the uh, Raiders offense. And also, I will do an update on the bunch offset that I did like way earlier in the year, like I think two months ago. So, if you guys are excited for that, please make sure to hit the like button on this video, first of all, because that's what I need to grow. You need to like and comment. And second of all, subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing right here. I give you all this stuff for free. And yeah. I think that's worth the subscription. Until next time, I see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.